Hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you for joining me. Um, this is our design tools series and I'm super excited to share with you one of my favorite design tools, one that finally released me from Photoshop, even though I still use Photoshop now and again. This one tool is my go-to design tool because it's just, it does everything. It's amazing and it makes my uh, designing in my, for my social media, for my blog, um, just for everything. It just makes things so much easier. So I'm going to just do a tour in this episode. This is episode one, part one of our design series. And what you're looking at here is the front page of Pick Monkey. Pick Monkey, so awesome. Now, Pick Monkey is a free tool, um, but it also has a premium membership. And the premium membership is only $33 a year, not a month, a year. And you get to use all of the awesome um, situations that they got set up in there and a lot of it is about pictures and editing pictures editing photos I mean you can do like f um, what you can do in Photoshop you can airbrush photos you can you know take the wrinkles off your face in photos um, you can add lighting you can add special effects but you can also create awesome Facebook banners um, social media posts just so many awesome things so I'm gonna take you through a quick tour of the uh, pick uh, monkey desktop um, so if you look at the top here it gives you some options you can edit a picture that you already have in your in your folder on your wet on your um, on your draw CD drive on your I can't even talk now I'm so excited <laughs> on your desktop um, you can also get pictures from Facebook that you have you can connect to Facebook and you can take images from there if you want to uh, retouch them you can do that um, you can design from scratch you can they have different square shapes Facebook covers um, these shapes are different social media styles and social media uh, shapes and you can do a custom shape as well which I usually do uh, a custom shape and I usually do about 2000 by you want to do it big by uh, one 180 is what I usually do oops 1080 my, my bad 1080 I can't even see the keyboard because my new contacts are giving me trouble. So that being said, that will take you to the design tool. This will take you to the palette that we're working with. Immediately brings up the canvas. If you want to uh, change the color of the canvas, you can do that here. You can pick a color. You can uh, make it transparent. Um, you can um, fade out the color a bit or darken the color a bit you can do that but I'm just gonna keep mine uh, plain so you can adjust the color if you know the code you can adjust it here so I'm just gonna keep it plain so I'm just gonna go really quick through the different options that you guys can use with this um, so we have the cropping tool we all know what a cropping tool is I'm sure everyone is familiar with a cropping tool um, and you know how to do that you just select the image you select what, how much you want to use and then you hit apply okay then we have the canvas color that we just uh, it immediately goes to that when you choose your canvas uh, to create um, then we're going to go to rotate. You can rotate an image. Um, and there's different areas. There's different, um, once you put an image in there, it's going to have a, its own separate box where you can actually rotate the image from there. But you can rotate your canvas, or not your canvas, but your image once you have your image in there. Um, exposure. So if we're, we're editing pictures, it gives you different tools to um, edit uh, your picture, brightness, the highlights, shadows, and contrast okay the next one is colors if you want to add your saturation saturation um, there's all different kinds of things you can do to uh, put special effects on your images on your pictures we can sharpen the picture right you can add clarity or sharpness you can unsharp mask there's all kinds of things you can do with that 
and then you can resize the picture so once you're done if you want to resize it or you can keep the proportions you can use percentages there's all kinds of ways to resize your canvas if you want to go back and do that all right so that's everything in the crop area this is all about um, creating um, uh, designing or uh, updating or adjusting your images your pictures right here we have it's going to take you to the effects tool where you can add special effects so so this is the different types of things that you can do with your images um, this is called the effects palette okay I'm not going to go through each one in this video we just want to kind of go over the different um, tools that you have on the side right here this little lipstick is actually your touch-up tool for your your pictures that you have photos that you have you can airbrush you can remove wrinkles you can take off the shine you can even whiten teeth you can add lip tint there are so many things that you can do with your images with um, with this tool palette okay the next one is of course your text um, I really like what I really like about, um, and it's taking a few minutes to click over, okay, what I really like about the text tool is that not only do they offer up their own uh, fonts, but any fonts that you have uploaded to your, uh, Word, your um, Word doc, your computer. So I have a few specialty um, fonts that I add in here, and so I can basically keep when I'm editing an image and I want to stay within my brand I have my fonts in there I can use those fonts I don't have to you know go into um, Photoshop or something like that to try and do it I love this tool for that for that very reason so this is your fonts and add a text tool um, it's very easy you just hit add text and then you just start typing and like I said it brings every time you put an image in it's going to bring up its own little box and you can do all kinds of things and like earlier I was saying you can um, you can change the direction of your text or your image every box has a similar um, or every image comes up with a similar box like this okay and the next one is the butterfly as I had stated earlier these are these are your overlays and that's another thing overlaying images is really big right now you see it all over the place and this is a really easy easy way to create that look on your images and so in, an, in the next video or um, I don't know if it's the very next video but we're gonna go over overlays it's really fun to use and it really creates some dramatic looks and some some really nice looks to your images all right and the next one we have are the frames of course we all want to put a frame on our images and it just gives you a rundown of the different kinds of frames that you can add to your images and then we have textures this is a really nice um, added bonus that you want to add to an image or to a background so we'll go over that in a video tutorial as well and then lastly they just added this themes and this is really cute um, I haven't played with this too much yet but they have little themes that you can add um, each one that you click on <laughs> it gives you something uh, I guess if you have pictures what it will do is you can add different um, effects zombie effects in this case to your image so I think I'm gonna play around with that a little bit more that looks pretty cool I never really um this is fairly new so yeah yeah see you can add a little lens look to your eyes and make you look all crazy and zombie-ish on that particular picture so that's pretty cool and then of course um, they have vampires and each tab has its own um, palette that you can create really awesome portraits or, or pictures that tell a story they had the Halloween thing going on that's really cool different pumpkins oh I just love this pick monkey meat pick monkey it blah, I can't even talk pick monkey is just my favorite tool it's I really like it over canva um, I'm not gonna do a tutorial on canva because I don't particularly care for it for some reason every time I create an image it takes forever and then when I try and print it out it doesn't look anything like um, what I print or what I created or there's some sort of error in there a black mark it's just I've had issues and I don't like the fact that you have to pay per picture like I prefer like this yearly thing like this is free with so basically the free version you might not have some of the different um, 
palettes here, but you have most of them, and you can do really good work with most of them. But I want the whole shebang, and I like to just pay. Just let me pay up front. Don't make me create something and then, or I can't find anything that's free, and so and then even if it's just a dollar, I don't care. Okay, that's my rant about Canva. <laughs> we won't we won't talk about Canva anymore. All right, so that's that's just the front uh, desktop tour of PicMonkey. We're gonna go in depth, and we're gonna start make, creating some really awesome projects, banners for your website, banners for your uh, social media sites. There's all kinds of things that you can do with PicMonkey, and it's super, super easy. Even the super newbie can, can really get some awesome results with this tool. All right, so that's it for now. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you on the next video. All right, bye-bye for now.